Okay, this question, we have x plus 3 times y minus 4, and this equals 0. In column A, we have the product of x and y, so x times y, and in column B, we have negative 12. Now, what's really tempting is just to look down here and say, ooh, look, if I make y equal to 4, and I make x equal to negative 3, then both of these are going to be 0, therefore, that equals 0. Look, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Put that down here. You choose answer C. You get it wrong. Why? Well, first off, you, you fell for GRE, the GRE's trap here. And you don't want to rush in and do something. You want to say, wait a sec. Are these the only two values that are possible? Think of it this way. If I have y equals 4, that means that this value here in this parentheses on the right-hand side is equal to 0. So no matter what x is, if y is 4, the product of these two is going to be 0. So x could be 4, x could be negative 4, doesn't matter. It could be anything. And because it can be anything, this value over here could be anything. It doesn't have to equal negative 12. And so when you have that much possibility or range of different answer choices, the answer isn't C. It's anything but C. It is actually D. Now, of note, you could have also said, hey, if x is negative 3 and the side is 0, then it doesn't really matter what y is. y could be anything. Again, the answer, of course, will be D.